Hi folks, Jason Hoppy here, giving you a couple sneak peeks of what's going to happen for Creative Pro Week, June 2nd through 6th in Phoenix, and hoping you can join us in person. If not, remember, you can join us online as well. I just wanted to show you a couple cool things that I'm going to be covering in my two Illustrator classes. I'm teaching one class with AI and Illustrator, and the other class I'm going to be teaching some cool tricks like this one. And we're going to be talking about clipping masks and draw inside. So I've created this watering can, and I would like to go ahead and do some other shading like I've done here on the watering can, and I'd like to do with the handles here. Now, if I grab my shape and I duplicate it, I could go in here and chop off the shape right here, but then I can't really move it around afterwards without having to recreate the shape. So that's where a clipping mask comes in. What I'm going to use is I'm going to use my object as a frame, and I want this object to then be clipped by the frame. So what I do is I put my object behind, I select my frame as well. With both those objects selected, I go into the object menu, I create a clipping mask, command seven, and I make that. Here's the problem with doing a clipping mask. Whenever you do a clipping mask with the object, your frame loses all the attributes. You now have to go back and recreate that frame, which is something that I don't like at all. So I don't use that object clipping mask make because of that reason. What I use is I use draw inside, which is quite simple. I select my object. I click on the draw inside button at the bottom of the toolbar, which is shift D. You'll see that I get this clipping mask indication. I take my object or draw an object inside here. I'm going to take this object and I'm going to cut it or copy it. And then I'm going to paste it or draw it inside the shape, either one. And you'll see that I can move this around and I can position this inside the window right here, which is great. I'm going to paste it again and I'm going to rotate it over here to do the side of the handle right there and get that shadow. Wonderful. When I'm done, you can hit Shift D again or click on the draw normal mode and everything returns. Now I have my object with the objects drawn inside. This circle is, is actually clipping it, but I didn't use the traditional clipping mask method. Now, how do I get to edit this content? Because in order to change the attributes here, I will need to isolate these objects. If I don't isolate these objects and I change the attributes, it's going to apply the attributes to every single thing in that clipping group. Like if I want to stroke on just the outline and not the shapes inside, I have to isolate those objects. I do that by going into my control bar that I can then edit the contents or I can edit the frame that's doing the clipping. Here's the problem when I have more than one object that's in there, I can't easily get to them. It's fine with one object, but when I have multiple objects and I'd like to do this, now they act as one unit. And so that could be a little bit of an issue. Well, the way we work around that, and it's really sweet, is we go to our layers panel. We go down to where our clipping group is, right there. You can see it, it's a clipping group. We open up the twirly, you can see the shape that is doing the clipping. And when we isolate this, I can now change the attributes of this shape that's doing the clipping separately because I've targeted it separately, but I can also independently select, change, and edit anything that is inside this clipping group. And one of the reasons why it's fantastic is because if I want to swap something out, if I go back here, you'll notice that my draw inside is no longer active. I can't get to it. And the reason why is because I would have to release everything, put it all back together, and then make my clipping mask again. I don't want to do that. So using the layers panel, I can actually target one specific object inside there. I can delete, edit, or change that at all. But how do I get something else in there inside my clipping mask? So this little gradient that I have here, I'm going to park it right here. And here is my gradient. And to put this into my clipping mask without undoing everything, unclipping and then reclipping, I'm simply going to drag that and put that right up into my clipping group. And now look at that. I get that object right there, isolated, accessible, and I can put things into and take things out of my clipping group. Another little fun thing, going in and adding some gradients with blend modes so that you can add some depth and dimension to your objects right here, like that. And that's just one of the many things that I'm going to show you. So June 2nd through 6th in Phoenix, in person or online, this is what I'm going to show you along with many other cool tips and tricks. See you there. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.